and welcome back to the Give and Go. I'm your co-host Reynoso here with my boy. Soltero. How's it going, y'all? Champions League reaction to the draw that just happened, folks. I'm excited to give you guys my instant reaction because I just woke up. And I'm excited to see what we've got on the table for all these Champions League teams. Have you seen the results yet? Haven't seen any of the results. This is going to be a nice live reaction for Live us. reaction for you guys. So, folks, we're going to introduce our rules expert here, Saltero, <laughs> to really clarify what we're going to deal with here in the Champions League because we all know this new format can be a little confusing, and it's a change from the old guard that we had. So, Saltero, give us the, the rundown on the rules here, how the draw is going to look, and how this whole thing is going to play out. Yeah, so new format, UEFA Champions League, which is crazy just first off, by the way, because I've only known one format my entire mm -hmm. life and this is the biggest club competition in the world the group stage has completely changed so let's yep. just break it down very quickly it's now basically an entire league so there's 36 teams in the group phase which is four extra than usual it's always been 32 now it's 36 but it's just one big table that's it every team will play eight games the way they've divided it is there's four pots and you play against two teams from each pot it's a different team every time so you'll only face a team once you get four home games four away games and then that's it at the end of your eight games you just look at the league table and then it's divided as such the top eight get a bye to the round of 16 then from places 9 to 24 okay. 9 to 24 you go into a play-in round okay. and it's Two legs, just like it would in any normal playoff situation. So a home game and away game against your drawn team. The winners will then go and meet the first eight teams in a traditional round of 16. And then from there, it's your classic round of 16, quarter semis, and then a final. Yeah. All right, folks. Hopefully that made sense. I think it made sense to me. Honestly, I'm excited to see this new format. And it looks like we're going to be getting a lot, a lot more Champions League football in the bullet to the knockout stages. So let's get right to it, man. Let's see who these teams drew in their group stage. And let's start with the, the defending champions, Bo. Yeah. Real Madrid, who did they get in this draw? It looks like in pot one, they get Dortmund. We get a Champions League final rematch <laughs> off the start, off the bat. Liverpool, God damn it. God <laughs> damn it. Liverpool, AC Milan, Atalanta, RB Salzburg, Lille, Stuttgart and Brest. Holy shit. This is actually a really difficult draw, in my opinion, for Real Madrid. I don't know the context of the other draws. I, I don't know yet. I, I think this is really tough. You think just, so? Just because, well, Dortmund, right? Dortmund yeah. know how to play against Real Madrid. They have good offensive weapons. Obviously, it's not the same team, but, I mean, Borussia Dortmund can challenge anybody, in my that. opinion. I think they could. I think they could. I mean, Liverpool. Yeah. I don't think it gets harder than that. That's going to be fun, and it looks like it's going to be at Anfield. So that's already oh, going to make oh, it right. difficult. Yeah, yeah, that's an away game. Yeah, so that's fun. And then, I mean, Milan and Atalanta, that's that's crazy. I think those are probably some of the hardest pot two teams you could draw against. Pot three, Salzburg, Lille shouldn't be too bad. Stuttgart, I think, could be tricky. As a pot four team, that's got to be one of the hardest pot four teams, in my opinion. Brest is going to be an easy win, though. Yeah, Lille, I think, will be a cakewalk. But looking at Italy, AC Milan, Atalanta, if they retain the form that they were in last season, that is tough. Um, yeah. yeah, Real Madrid getting grouped then. <laughs> <laughs> See that that's the thing though is that yes you could have a draw like this where uh, honestly I think Dortmund, Liverpool, Milan, Atalanta is brutal. That's brutal for any team to draw against, but you get eight games total. Mm. So there's more room for error, which is, you know, why UEFA is doing this, right? You can get a harder draw, but you can still go through. Because if you finish in 24th True. place, 24th, you still get a spot in the play-ins. Crazy. So there's, you, Madrid could honestly probably lose four games, but still qualify to the next round. So there's a lot more room for error in this new uh, group stage. Let's look at Manchester City. Manchester City draws Inter Milan. So we get another Champions League Damn. final rematch from two years ago. Paris Saint-Germain, PSG, Club Bruges, Juventus, Feyenoord, Sporting CP, Sparta Prague, and Sporting Bratislava, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, looking at the looking at the comparison between groups, I, I think I'm starting to see what you're saying, man. I think this group is a little bit weaker in comparison to the first group that Real Madrid got. Yeah, I would say definitely a, a bit weaker. Club Bruges should be 
it should be fine for a team like Manchester City. Juve, I think, is tough for pot too. But, you know, Feyenoord will be a little bit tricky. Sporting could be a little tricky, but I think that's where that ends. It's just going to be tricky affairs. I don't think there's any problem with the pot four teams mm-hmm. that they drew, mm-hmm. but Inter and Paris, that's fun. It's that's fun. a lot of fun it's for fun. Manchester City. But PSG without Mbappe now? I, yeah. I, I, think, I think that's a dub for Manchester City, so honestly. True. And then Inter, the defending Serie A champions, that is the toughest, the toughest draw here, I yeah. think, for them. Yeah, the toughest match. It'll be at the at the had though, so that should be fine for Manchester True. City. Overall, I think that's just some fun. Th- those will be just some fun games. They'll get to go to Juventus. Yeah, that should just be a fun draw. Maybe Juventus could really show up for their home crowd in that game. But yeah, I think their pot three and pot four teams are you know pretty easy. Yeah, I agree. Bayern Munich gets PSG, Barcelona, Benfica, Shakhtar Donetsk, GNK Dynamo. Feyenoord, Bratislava, and Aston Villa in pot four. Holy shit, I didn't realize Aston Villa was a pot four team. Damn, neither did I. <laughs> Good lord, dude. Holy shit. PSG okay. to start, and then Barcelona in pot, pot one. Tough opponents. I think those are two really yeah. tough pot one teams for Bayern Munich who are trying to you know, change their narrative from last season. Mm-hmm. This isn't going to make it easy. I think the pot two teams are tricky. They're tricky, but they should be doable for a team like Bayern. I think the pot four Villa team is is the curveball here. Yeah. That's where Bayern are just, hopefully they'll be okay by the time they face Villa, or maybe it's early on, I don't know. But for Bayern, I think two tough pot one teams, and then Villa is just crazy. That, Aston Villa in a pot four, bro, it's like when you face off against like, I don't know, like a middle school team, but that middle school team has a kid who's 14 years old, <laughs> but he looks like a grown man. Yeah. That's what Aston Villa is in Pop 4, dude. That'll be interesting to see. That game will be away from home as well for them, so that's a tough test Yeah, going to Villa Park. PSG, who do they get? They get Manchester City, Bayern Munich, there it is, Atleti, Arsenal, okay, okay. PSV, Salzburg, Girona, and Stuttgart. This is tough, bro. Holy, Holy shit. shit. <laughs> God <laughs> this damn. This is tough. This, okay, this is, I would say, harder than Madrid's 100%. draw. 100%. Oh, my God. There's not an easy team here, honestly, bro. There's not an easy one. The the, the easiest ones, maybe Salzburg and Girona, but, I mean, those are to be tricky. Salzburg just got Bacic, uh, the Liverpool midfielder, so I don't know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be tough, bro. It's going to be tough. And that This is crazy. Yeah. Wow, City. Bayern Munich, there's zero respite there for mm-hmm. Paris in mm-hmm. pot one. Pot two, same thing. There's going to be mm-hmm. zero easy games here. Atleti, that's going to be tough for us, low key, but we can at least scrap for a draw. I know we can. Arsenal's going to be crazy. You know, PSV and Salzburg can fight. I think those are the easiest teams. Yeah, low course. key, I think Paris have the toughest pot four draw. I, I, there's no way there can be a tougher pot four draw for a team because Girona's going to be tough to face, though beatable. And same with Stuttgart. Stuttgart's going to be tough, though beatable. Well, if someone gets, you know, either Girona or Stuttgart and then, uh, like if someone gets Stuttgart and Villa or Girona and Villa, I think that, that would be, be, the, just be the craziest tough. one. I yeah. wonder if that happens. But so far, this is the toughest pot four. Um, I just think those first four, Man City, Bayern, I'd let the Arsenal is ridiculous. That's insane. That's insane. Good luck to the Parisians, dude. My. Uh, have fun with that. Yeah, have they're going to have... That. Uh, yeah, it basically puts a situation where their pot three, pot four games are must wins. Mm-hmm. If you consider yourself to be, you know, not guaranteed against pot one and pot two matches. That's yeah. crazy. Man, I mean, we said we wouldn't go through every team, but... <laughs> this is fun so far. Let's so far, at, let's keep let's, going. Let's look at Liverpool. Let's look My at Liverpool. squad, Liverpool. Let's... Let me see who we drew in this tournament. Yeah. Here we go. We're finally back in the Champions League. I was talking to you about this yesterday. Yeah. I'm just so hyped that we're back, dude. Missing out on the Champions League is not a fun experience. And finally, Liverpool, a team that can challenge for the title, is back. And we're facing off against Real Madrid. We're facing off against Leipzig. That's a pot one team, Leipzig. Okay. Bayer Leverkusen at home. So we get to host Xavi Alonso's ah, Bayern Leverkusen. That's fun, that's man. That's fun. That's really fun. AC Milan, Lille, PSV away from home, Bologna, and then Girona. I'll take it. I'll take that. I'll take it. It's I, not the easiest group, but yeah. it's, it's, I think, very doable for Liverpool. 
Yeah, I think part one and part two are tough. Like, I don't think there's going to be an easy game whatsoever with those four matches. But I think it cools off mm-hmm. definitely for mm-hmm. part three, part four. There'll be some tricky games, for example, like maybe Girona, maybe PSV. Maybe. Yeah. But those are maybes. Liverpool, yeah. those should they should be able to get, you know, 12 points out of those four matches. Yeah. But part one, part two, there's going to be some fun matches, dude. Leverkusen. And you get to host Madrid. host Madrid. You host Real Madrid. 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 That's, oh. good. That's gonna be an awesome match. Yeah, that's dude. gonna be fun. Damn, dude, Bellingham and Bappe. Everybody yeah. in the house, dude, yeah. at Anfield. Oh, that's gonna be a great matchup. Yeah. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. That's gonna be awesome to see. I'm liking this so far. I'm liking what the new format is presenting. Uh let's look at Atleti. Let's go to Atleti. Let's go to Atleti. Let's, go to let's, do let's do see what Atleti got. All right, you just I, I don't even want to look. You just right. tell me. Right. You just tell me. <laughs> go go a little slow right, so I can you know, right. see. Atleti starts off hosting RB Leipzig, pot one. Okay, okay. That, that should, I, I like that. Yeah. As a pot one, I'll take, take Leipzig. And hosting at the... Come on now. Yeah. The next pot one team, PSG. Okay, you're right, right. right, yeah, right. I, we, I saw we, that I one really coming. That I understand that. That's going right. to be a, that's gonna be a tough game. Right. Pot two, Bayer Leverkusen. Shit, okay. Oh, yeah. That's, that's tough. Okay. That's tough, a tough pot tough. two draw. But you're at home. Okay. Okay, that helps. All right. Benfica. I can I can handle Benfica. Yeah. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Yeah, okay. Part three, <laughs> Lil. All right. Perfect. No. Great. Home too, I so love that. Come on now. Salzburg. Okay. Yeah. Also, team. It would be tricky, but tricky at best. We should be able to handle that. Part four, Bratislava. Perfect. Mm, Perfect. Like Let's keep going. Let's go. My God. I got you then. Sparta Prague. Perfect. Let's go. This is actually probably one of the easier draws. Let's go. Yeah. I mean. But only three teams that will truly challenge, I think. If, I, if Benfica doesn't pull up, then it's three teams at most. Yeah. Uh, so far, I mean, out of all the teams we've covered, I think we've gotten the most favorable draw so far. Wow. All right. Wow. All right, man. Crazy. Maybe we sneak into that top maybe, eight. Maybe. Maybe we sneak in there, get an easy round of 16 draw <laughs> off the bat. Let's go. Let's look at a couple more teams. Let's look at Barcelona. Let's Barcelona look at Barcelona. Barcelona a big talking point here. Let's look at Barcelona. They face off against Bayern Munich at home. Oh, my God. <laughs> we know the history though, bro. <laughs> Thomas Muller coming back yeah. to Barcelona Stadium. We know how this story goes, bro. <laughs> I hate to say it. I really do. But we'll see what happens. Maybe yeah. this is the time that Barcelona finally, finally responds to this feisty Bayern Munich team that always shows up for Barcelona. They didn't face off against Borussia Dortmund, also a pot one team. That won't be easy. Won't be easy. That's not going to be easy. They get Atalanta. Oof. They face off against Benfica. Mm-hmm. Young boys. Sure. Young boys in pot three. Uh, I can't say their name. Svena Svezda. Svena Svezda. Yeah. Red Star. Red if Star. You Red Star. Size it. And then Brest and Monaco in pot four. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, a, a couple of tough pot one, pot two teams, but I, I, I see Barcelona beating the pot three, pot four teams, Sad, honestly. Yeah, I think it's similar to Atleti. The first three are really tough. Yeah. Benfica could possibly make it somewhat tough. We'll see. Yeah. And then the rest are easy. Yeah, for them, for Barcelona, I would say. Okay, this will be this will be fun though. Uh, maybe the road game to Monaco could be interesting, but yeah, I agree. This is actually pretty similar to Atleti's. Yeah. Any other team? What other team should we look at? Let's look at Leverkusen, All man, because right. obviously they had one of the craziest runs ever last season, but they were in the Europa League, right? Mm-hmm. So now I cannot wait to see them get tested in the UEFA Champions League. I'm really curious to see who they have, bro. So pot Starts one, off. Inter. I think that's tough, but they do get that at home. Okay. Liverpool, right? Yeah. Liverpool yeah, yeah. at Anfield. That's going to be so that's fun. That's an L. That's I'm a, sorry. That's going to be a crazy game. Oh, but yeah, it is. This, these are the type of games that I want to see that we didn't get to see Leverkusen have last season. We just didn't get to see these. Inter Liverpool off the bat. Those are some crazy matchups already. Milan, that's tough pot too. And then I let the. I let thee, bro. Damn. That's that's tough God, too. Damn. Okay. Those are really tough draws, honestly. Then you get Salzburg, Fire Nord, and Pot Three. You know, tricky. Mm-hmm. Sparta Prague, and then Brest. Bro, and how pot many groups four. are Sparta Prague in, dude? Good <laughs> lord, man. Yeah, yeah I think I think after that Pot Two, it, it gets a little bit easier. It for gets them as easier. Well, but they have a tough four game stretch of Inter, Liverpool, Milan, and Atleti. Yeah, those are that's four tough. very difficult games, and this is exactly what I want to see. Yeah. I want to see yeah. Leverkusen get tested in Europe. I think this. This is a crazy test, honestly, when you look at the pot one, pot two teams. Arsenal. Let's look oh, at Arsenal. Oh, let's look at Arsenal. Let's see how Arsenal is destined to do in the Champions League. Yeah. Here we go. Arsenal starts off facing off against PSG at home. That's going to be dope. PSG at the Emirates Stadium under those night lights, UCL nights. I'm excited to see that matchup. Yeah. Then they face off against Inter Milan away from home. 
Pot two, they get Shakhtar Donetsk and Atalanta. Atalanta will be a tough one. We'll see what Shakhtar can offer. And then uh, Dinamo Zagreb in pot three, Sporting CP in pot three, Monaco and Girona. Oh, shit. Okay, so it gets okay. a little bit tougher for them in pot three and pot four compared to other groups. It does. Um, so, yeah, this will be an interesting test for Arsenal. I think this is a pretty difficult draw, honestly. Paris and Inter are no slouches whatsoever. Atalanta, I do think, are going to be very difficult to beat. I see Atalanta as one of the better pot two teams in general. So if you're playing Atalanta, I think that's just a very difficult game no matter who it is. And then, yeah, I think it gets tricky. Sporting and Monaco can be interesting. And Girona, they're not going to be easy either. Arsenal should be able to beat these teams, but this is where the the upset could possibly happen. But yeah, I think this is a really tricky draw for Arsenal, honestly. I agree. I agree. Let's see how... I think it'll be the perfect test, though. It's a test for them to really wake up in the group stations and go for it let's look at the other Premier League team yeah Aston Villa let's, let's see it. who they got because we've gotten a little idea of what they might have based off of the other groups but yeah. who did they get what are the eight teams they have to face off against we have Bayern Munich and Pot One RB Leipzig Juventus Club Bruges Celtic Young Boys Bologna and Monaco Damn, okay. Uh, pot three, pot four for a team like Villa, I think those are just going to be tight, right? Because last year Villa proved that these European games, mm-hmm. they don't necessarily play their best football. Mm-hmm. This is their opportunity to undo that narrative, but I think the fact that this is their first year in the Champions League, like, I, I think a, a little bit of that inexperience could definitely mm-hmm. come at hand. So I don't see any of these pot three, pot four games being a walk in the park for a team like Villa. They should be able to beat them, but I think they could definitely get caught just due to their inexperience. And then obviously Bayern's going to be tough. Yes. Leipzig's going to be tough. Juve, though beatable, is going to be tough. So I think overall, this isn't a crazy draw for Villa, but I, I just don't think it's going to be easy either. No, it's not. It's not, but that's, that's I guess that's the tough part about being a pot four team is that you get a less favorable draw. So they're going to be tested as well. It brings me up to the next question. Who ends up having the toughest, the toughest draw? We can look through these for a minute because yeah. I'm trying to think who really faces off against the toughest amount of teams. Just PSG. PSG. PSG yeah. I think, I think after looking I, I, at, I think, yeah, I think, I think PSG is pretty clearly the toughest, the toughest draw. Man City, Bayern, bro, yeah. back to back. Then Atleti, Arsenal, PSV Salzburg is where it gets easier. Girona and Stuttgart. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I think PSG probably has the toughest draw because of that. Zero easy teams in pot one, pot two, and those pot four teams are probably one of the better pot four mm-hmm. teams. Mm-hmm. So I, I think Paris, if you look at it, six to seven tough games out of eight. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and like you said, no Mbappe now. Yeah. So. Not that that might be a bad thing because maybe they needed to offload Mbappe to play better team football, but just the fact that they have no superstar to lean on, I think this is going to be a very interesting campaign for PSG. It could go south, or this could end up being PSG's you know time to shine and yeah. really show that they still have amazing footballers and they still play really good football. And, and <laughs> my God, if they pass this uh, league phase, then they will have earned it. They will have earned it. But I will finish this episode with this question because we are on the topic of Champions League and we haven't discussed it yet. Let's just solidify it so we can archive it and look back. Who do you have winning the Champions League as of right now? It has to be Madrid. It has to be. I mean, this it has is, to be. This is what I was talking about when we mentioned the transfer fact that they get Mbappe and they've lost nobody. They haven't lost any of their starters, any of their meaningful substitutes. They have not lost. So it's the same exact team that won the Champions League literally three months ago and they have Mbappe, right? And they have Kylian Mbappe. So I think all of those factors, you have to not only say Madrid are the title favorites, but you also, I think we have to put that pressure on them because if if they had lost, you know, even like a guy like Rodrigo, for example, I'd be like, well, you know, maybe there's still some holes in this Madrid team, but there's zero holes and they've actually made themselves even stronger. So it has to be Madrid. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be Madrid. Has to be. And so, I, th- I think Madrid is winning it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I really start with do. That. I think they're winning it. I don't think they're going to cakewalk their way to the final. 
Right. Because we see it with super teams all the time in all different sports, even the USA at the Olympics, all right? <laughs> yeah, true, you're true, very true. good. We have a stack squad. There's always a point where you get tested, you know, where it's still a really close game. And so I think Manchester City could still pose that kind of threat in the sense of at least keeping it close if they do end up getting match, matched up with Real Madrid at any point in those knockout phases. Any other team, I don't really know if they can really do that. But I still think Real Madrid will come out on top. They'll get the 16th Champions League trophy in their history. All I'm saying is it's not going to be this like complete blowout that they go on to win the trophy. I think it's going to get very, very close at one moment, and they will prevail. That's my only prediction there. Yeah, and I think it'd be fun to see these almost dark horse teams try and make some sort of lunge for the title. And I'm looking at Leverkusen, man. I I just think the aura that they built last season, the way they've already started off this Mm -hmm. season, they got to keep this energy going because I think it's more than just energy. I think Alonso is proving himself to be probably one of the best coaches out there right now. So this is, I think, the perfect time. Leverkusen have also gotten stronger. They didn't really lose that many pieces over the summer and they've gotten some great signings to add to their squad. I think a team like Leverkusen could be awesome to see as a dark horse but then also just the the, the prem teams you know like can arsenal be effective in europe you know Mm -hmm. they have the squad to do it i would love to see them make a deep run because low-key they were disappointing last year right in europe so i think for arsenal to make some sort of title run in the uefa champions league that would be dope to see too liverpool I mean, Liverpool's Liverpool squad that, is baby. so stacked, bro. So I think they could do something alongside Manchester City. Either way, though, this is just going to be a, a hell of a year in Europe. Yes. Folks, let us know in the comments down below who do you have winning the Champions League and what do you think about the UCL draw?